This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2005 Nissan Titan. Uh, it's a full crew cab. It's an LE, which is leather. It's also the 4x4 off-road package, so it's four-wheel drive. It has the 5.6 liter Titan engine in it. Uh, it has navigation, moonroof, uh, DVD player. Um, it has 53,000 miles. It was uh, salvaged due to theft, uh, not collision. Uh, cosmetically it's got some dings here and there some scratches they told us it was like two weeks out to get a tube of touch-up paint um, so we just said screw it we're just gonna sell it the way it is and when we get the touch-up paint in we'll just send it with the truck when it's sold anyway it's got some uh, cosmetic issues that I'll show you um, it's on a salvage title due to theft not because it was wrecked please watch the video uh, that explains how that happens we have a little animated video on theft recoveries uh, salvage due to theft not collision, not vandalism. Uh, basically, it's a liability issue with the insurance companies. We've got a beautiful set of tires on it all the way around. I mean, the tires are probably 80% tread, 90% tread. Um, driver fender's okay. Front bumper has a little ding in it here. If you spent $1,000 on this thing, it'd be really good looking. Um, scratch in the... In the uh, chrome trim. This could use a little touch up. When it's got a little bit of a dent here in the hood. And then it, whatever, I think it went through it went under a fence or something cuz it's got some deep cut here and one there. Obviously, a touch up paint we <laughs> if we could have gotten it, it would have made it look like 97% better. But we are not in the business of waiting uh, 2 weeks for a $9 tube of touch up paint. Um, it's got some gouges here, some scratches I should say, these are more scratches than gouges, but uh, it's a hell of a truck, it's just got some uh, some little alleys that uh, need to be dealt with. The driver's doors look pretty good, a little scratch down here, one right here. There was a pretty good sized dent, like right here, right where my hand is. And we sent it to our shop and spent $400 and had that one fixed. It was just a little too ugly. That was the only major significant one. We'll have before and after pictures in here. If you uh, check it out, uh, the before and after pictures, you'll see exactly what we saw when we bought it. See what I mean? A little touch-up paint would be a really good idea. There's a ding there in the bumper package you got a brand new spare the rancho suspension off-road package you got a nice spare it's very unusual for them to let us have the spare there you go I wonder if it's unlocked it's not Let's see if I can get it unlocked before this video is over. Got some nicks here, got little dings here, here, just like a couple scratches there. Driver doors look pretty good. Got a little nick here. Um, I'm going to fire it up so you can hear it under the hood. We've been having people requesting that they can uh, hear it under the hood, which actually makes good sense. So let's open the hood. There you go. There's the stickers for the hood, where they're supposed to be. Obviously, that's important. Without those stickers, you're not sure if this has been ever been replaced. way it's supposed to be. Runs great. Really strong running truck. Yikes. The radio's up a little loud there. We tested the DVD player just a minute ago. 
it does uh, work. DVD players in the center, center console. This is like a cup holder that was missing. We don't know what exactly is supposed to go there. Seats look fantastic. Nothing to uh, talk about there. A couple, there's a little scratch on the top of the roof. Kind of reinforcing my thought that it went under something. All right, let's see, let's do some windows. Driver window, passenger window, let's see, passenger rear window, driver rear window. Let's do mirror out, in, up, down, switch to the other side, out, in, up, down. There you go. Let's see. We also have we have we have memories in the seats. We also have, let's see, up back, forward, up, down. That works fine. Nothing going on there. We have a pedal up and down. Here's the window switch. Let's see your window. That works. Let's see. All right. Oh, we have crew. Oh, we have tilt right here. That works. Let's see. We also have. Make sure that we can see that work. Yeah, that's. There you go. Can't see it. There it is. Heated seats, got the cup holder. There's your changer in the center console. Seats. Boy, you can barely feel this thing running at all. It's crazy. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I guess it's not a touch screen, is it? Let's see. Alright, there's your map. Gardner Lane. Turn on some air. That's the heater. Let's make sure we got air conditioning here. All right. Let's see. Seat belt on. I see my guys have given me no gasoline whatsoever, so this could be a brief demonstration. Let's see if the radio works here. Yeah. I care about who you are. Yes, it does. Six disc changer, Rockford Fosgate. Um, let's see. The air is blowing cold. Let's see. Uh, that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Blah blah blah. Uh, I got about max air conditioning to get it to go really good. There we go. There you go. Now it's blowing really hard. All right. Air, air works fine. I know the heater works fine because I had it on earlier. Let's see. There's your gauges. Your miles are 53,502. Put it into neutral. Push it. Put it into four low. Now we're in four low. Drive. Let's drive. Let's reverse. All right, back to neutral. I'm gonna put it into four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. Reverse. Perfect. All right. It also has a tow mode down here. It has the diff lock down here. Let's see there. Let's see how that comes out right there. All right. Let's see what else we got to show you. I think that's it. Let's make sure that the radio works. Last chance to get there you go. two free tickets. Time is running out, so call right now. All right. So everything works, which is always nice when you're buying an expensive vehicle. Except you're going to save a lot of money because it's on a salvage title. All right, it's on a salvage title. So if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to have to pay. Um, oh, you know what? I still got a four-wheel drive. Put it neutral. Go back to two-wheel. There you go. Felt like I was pulling, and I was. 
Um, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, we have to take it to the cops here. We take the salvage title in the truck itself uh, about 6 in the morning and uh, have it inspected. They do a level 3 inspection. We take the level 3 inspection and we take the truck itself uh, to motor vehicles with the salvage title and we get what's called a restored salvage title. Uh, at that point you can buy insurance and you, we can issue plates. Um, and without a restored salvage title, no plates, no insurance. Okay, That's why it's got to happen before you leave. Uh, we charge $200 to do that. So you're going to come here to drive it home. You're going to pay us $200. We're going to take it down there and get it restored. Uh, we have a $250 dock fee for doing in-person deals. And we have taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 5%, you're going to pay a total of 7% tax, a $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, you don't pay dock fee, you don't pay taxes. Um, the only thing you may pay in addition to the agreed upon price is a restore fee if you want us to restore the title before it leaves. Let me jump on it here. Okay, this thing runs like crazy. Really good. Very solid running truck. Um, anyhow, so. Yeah, if you ship it, if you pay by wire and ship, once we receive full payment, um, we will uh, mail you the title. And uh, you probably have the title before you get the truck. Um, just make sure if you decline having us restore the title for you, uh, make sure that you know that all you're going to receive is the truck, a bill of sale, and the salvage title, the Arizona salvage title. Make sure you call your motor vehicles and tell them that's what you're going to be bringing for them to inspect. And is that enough? If it's not, I strongly suggest you have us do the inspection for you. It's probably the best $200 you spent on anything in your life. Um, uh, sometimes we're we're required to stay with the truck all day um, until it's done. So you know, sometimes we're out of there at 8:15 in the morning. You know, we're in line first at six just to be in line first. And sometimes we're out there at 8:15. They open at eight. Um, sometimes we're there till six o'clock at night. Uh, that's why we charge two hundred dollars. We have an employee potentially tied up all day. Uh, about fifty dollars goes to the state for the fee, and then one hundred and fifty is for us. Uh, but just make sure so that it doesn't go to Michigan, and then you find out that you've got to bring it back here. That's really a nightmare. All right. Well, here we go. Great running truck. This is uh, a absolute no-brainer mechanically. Um, if you wanted to spend, I don't know, probably under a thousand dollars, probably somewhere in five hundred to eight hundred dollar area, and have a a really good touch-up guy or spot painter fix the, the paint work on this thing, this would be an absolute diamond. Um, very low miles, four-wheel drive, loaded up. Um, don't see these very many very very often it's very hard to find these trucks like this um, anyway it'll be a very fair price please make sure you get a deposit in. without a deposit we don't have a deal all right thank you very much be safe have a great week and a great weekend